Okay, I think this question needs a video just because there's a lot of aspects that are kind of hard to write out in just details on texts. So, we know from the question that it's a recessive gene and it's on the X chromosome. Also, we know that in A, which is our first part of the question, a normal woman whose father is colorblind is crossed with a normal male. So, just for the sake of distinguishing the colorblindness versus the dominant non-colorblindness, we're going to use lowercase r is going to be colorblindness, capital R will be um, a normal sight. So right away from A, we know that her father, who is a male, so XY, is going to be colorblind. So that means he has a lowercase r. So right away, we know she's a female, and so he had to give her his X to her. So that means that because she's not colorblind, she has to have a capital R. But because he has only a lowercase r on his X, he gave her that. So this is her. She is crossed with a normal male. And the normal male only has one X, as we know. So he's going to have a capital R as well, because he's normal. So when we cross these two, we're going to get, I'm not gonna write out the X's, but we're going to get two capital R's. We're going to get one capital R and a Y. We're going to get a heterozygous. And then we're going to get a lowercase r with a Y. So then it asks, um, what would be the results of the crosses? So we have three out of the four are going to have normal sight and one of them is going to have colorblindness. So that's the answer for A. For B, it has a carrier female and she marries a colorblind male. And they ask, what are the chances of having a colorblind baby uh, that is any sex? So she's a carrier, but she doesn't have colorblindness. So we know again, that she has capital R, but since she carries it, just like the first female, she's got a lowercase r on her other chromosome. The man that she marries is colorblind, so we know that his X has to have a lowercase r, and he's a male, so his other is going to be Y. So when you cross these two, again, not going to write the X's, but we get one with heterozygous X's, one with a capital R and a Y, one with two X's, both recessive, and one with an X and a Y with a recessive R. So the chances of them having a colorblind baby would be half because these two are both gonna be lowercase. So that means two of them are going to be normal uh, vision and then two of them are going to be colorblind. So the chances of them having a colorblind baby of any sex would be 50%. And I hope that answers your questions.